Hi everybody, I am Serdar. I am an AWS and DevOps instructor at Claris Bay. We have learned how to launch EC2 instance in previous video and I am going to explain how to get into this EC2 with our Linux terminal in this video. In addition, I will install Nginx on my EC2 and I want to show you how to publish your basic website with Nginx on EC2 instance. If you are ready, let's get started. First of all, you need to log in your AWS account with your credentials and reach the EC2 console page using the services tab from the top of the page and click EC2. We need to get instance page. Click the instances button on the left hand side. It puts me through instances console. So, you are able to monitor every activity about your instances with uh, this console. You can filter your instances based on your needs. For example, I filtered them according to running state. We can connect to our instance in different ways, but for now, I will see two of them with console and with terminal. Let's try to connect to our instance with console. Select your instance and click the connect button on the right side of the top. So, there are three ways to connect your instance. As I said, I'm going to show you two of them. First one, EC2 instance connect and the last one, SSH client. To connect your EC2 instance with session manager, you need to install SSH agent on the instance and you need IM4FL with uh, AWS system manager. I'm going to show you first of all EC2 instance connect. Select EC2 instance connect option. In most cases, AWS puts your username address to your instance here. For example, uh, EC2 user is my username for this instance. However, in some case, you might have to check any instructions. When you click the connect button, there is a new browser opens and you can reach your instance on browser. You don't need to use SSH command and your PAM key in this method. Sometimes this way could be handy. The second way to get into your EC2 instance is to use SSH command and PAM key on your terminal. AWS describes how to connect your EC2 within the last option. I'm going to show you how to follow these steps in, on our Linux terminal respectively. Let's open our terminal. And first of all, we need to go to the folder where we prefer to save the PAM key. You know, we download it when we launch our instance. My PAM key is in my download folder. And I'm going to download folder. First, we need to do, we'll give an authentication to this PAM key uh, with uh, chmod400 key PAM command. chmod400 and my PAM key is name Sadar Clarusway PAM. And tap the enter. After authentication of the key file, first go to the instance console and select your instance. There is details section in here on below and grab, grab either public IPv4 address or public IPv4 DNS name. Go to the terminal again and write this command ssh hyphen i write your PAM key address and write your username at pass the IPv4 address and hit the enter button it, it's going to ask you are you sure you want to continue connect yes I am sure and uh, it will connect to the, your instance you can change the user as root with sudo su command be careful as I said your username is ec2 user and it has sudo privileges by default the first thing to go when we get into our instance is update our package manager. Yum package manager comes with Linux 2 AMI and I'll update my yum package with 
sudo yum update hyphen y yeah there is no package to update now I'm gonna install Nginx on this computer and I'll show you how to publish a basic website with this EC2 instance. You know, Nginx is an open source software for web serving, reverse proxying, caching, load balancing, media streaming and more. First, write this command install software on our machine. I'm gonna uh, copy and paste here. Hit enter. And I'm gonna use click Y. Yeah, I'm gonna use we get command by the way. That's why I'm gonna install we get here. Nginx and we get were successfully installed. Let's write the following command so that the Nginx service can start. sudo systemctl start nginx and let's enable our nginx service but is our nginx installed properly there is an easy way to check this copy the public ip of the server then open a new world browser and paste it here click enter if your page is seen as this you have done it let's upload our web contents into the related nginx folder uh, this is going to be usr share nginx html and let's write ls you can see three files in here. Nginx always follows this index.html file. If I remove, the, remove this file and paste uh, here my own file, index.html, Nginx will follow my index.html file. Let's remove index.html, sudo rm index.html and upload my my own files with we get from my git repository and yeah sudo we get yeah and it is uploaded and the second file I'm gonna paste the second file here let's write ls and both of them are here index html and can jpeg and then start nginx again sudo systemctl start or restart restart nginx and uh, if you come to the web page and refresh your web page you can see your own web page as you can see in this session we have learned how to get into the ec2 instance and install nginx server on it thanks for watching see you in the following sessions till then keep in touch with colorsway community